So the Infectious Disease Society of America noted that resistance was increasing and the CDC has made resistant gram-negative rods an urgent global threat. And they init the IDSA initiated at least two programs. One was uh, 20 by 20, having 20 new drugs by 2020. And the other is the bad bugs, no drugs. Both of these highlight the problem that there is a lot of resistance developed in the gram-negative sphere in particular. This may be less of a problem in the United States and more of a problem elsewhere, but with international travel and people going on vacation and flying back, they bring their microbiome from when they have visited home. And so resistance has been increasing worldwide and in the United States. As part of the effort to get those 20 by 20, Two new gram-negative drugs have been recently approved by the FDA. Uh, one, ceftolazine tazobactam, and the other, ceftazidime avibactam. And they're part of this effort to get new drugs for resistant gram-negative infections. And these drugs are actually very different. They're not interchangeable. They're not the same. They're Ceftolazine is a new cephalosporin. Some people might call it a fifth generation with an old beta-lactamase inhibitor, tazobactam. And its particular strength is against resistant pseudomonas, including ceftazidime resistant pseudomonas. Ceftazidime avibactam is a drug with an old cephalosporin but a new beta-lactamase inhibitor that has particular strength against CRE's carbapenem resistant enterobacteriaceae like Klebsiella pneumonia if you call them CREs or whatever you'd like to call them and the two drugs have different niches in the therapeutic armamentarium so each one is different and depends what you want to treat. You want to be specific for your individual patient depending on their isolate and their disease.